Uh, Bill? Stand up, please. Is Jim still here? Yeah! Jim? Thank <laughs> you. 
I can't do half that anyway. Um, we're gonna have the next contest. It's called uh, the best two rope routine. Bill Smith. Come on up.
appreciate the invite here from Mr. Mark Allen. I think he's done a great job in getting everybody together, and I think he deserves a great hand. Well, it's New York Cowboy, he's all right, I'll tell you. <laughs> and uh, we're happy to be here, and uh, I have had the honor and the pleasure of knowing Will Rogers Sr. and both of his kids, <laughs> Will Jr. and uh, Jimmy. And uh, I worked in the Will Rogers story with Will Jr. We had a great time. So uh, we'll just do a little bit here. Uh, I'm not quite 83 yet, but I'm, I'm proud of that. <laughs> I think he's, I can still do it, too. <laughs> so, uh, Junior and I, we haven't wrote together in quite a while, but we're going to try a little well, bit. Well, thank Kelly, we'll give it her a shot. <laughs> <laughs> we got this little whippersnapper of a gal here, and I've been teaching her. She's learned real good, and we're going to fix and entertain you just the right smart. Okay, here we go. Of course, we don't have any music to work with, but we'll just try and work with a little uh, without music. I can barely spin this, so I got to announce in the show, and I find it's easier to talk about it than do it. <laughs> now, you talk about it. One thing I found out, you have to be careful not to get wrapped up in your work. Because <laughs> I had an uncle stay by it so long, it finally went to his head. Are you doing all right there, boy? Yeah, it's still spinning. Good. This is the way Jimmy Rogers wrote on Saturday night. <laughs> Look, I believe I lost the loose. Uh, never lose them, just misplace them. I understand Willis Sr. used to say he got every foot through but one. <laughs> You know, I used to be bow-legged, but I had one leg fixed last spring. I'm going to get the other one fixed. I'm just kind of a half bow-legged now. <laughs> the $8,000 man or what is it? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? We about to run out of tricks here? Well, I'll just go ahead and make a flat loop out of this. We've got an unwieldy weight. I think that's the way you say that. I used to have to bribe Junior to get him to practice roofing because he always wanted to go to the carnival and sell something. <laughs> it's either rope, rope with one or get hit with one. <laughs> Learn a few things. Ready for the big finish? Ready. Okay. I'll do a smoke out. There you go. <laughs> job doing this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hardest trick. <laughs> That's what I was going to do. but we generally get paid for doing it. <laughs> so that's about our free routine, and we want to thank you. I have a new rope there that I would like to donate to Mark if he wants to give it as a prize to some one of your events. I will uh, donate a, a Mark Allen Monty Montana tied trick rope. So we'd like to... Okay. Okay. Shooter. 
We'll already grab these for 25 cents later. <laughs> With the ball player, it'd be $5. <laughs> uh, what's our next event? You want to do the running Texas skip contest? Everybody ready for that?
Mexican Charles uses McGay ropes. You notice he's got a long coil in his uh, left hand. They spin it one way and spin it back the other. A lot of the American cowboys have a sort of a swivel hondo in their McGay rope. And this McGay, made from the same plant from which they get tequila, that may account for some of the fixings being able to do with that. <laughs> Normally I use about 120 feet and those big wooden horns on their Silla de Montar, their saddles. They burn them in. They don't uh, have rubber tape around them or an inner tube like American cowboys do. They let that rope slide around the horn and burn in their horn. Those ropes will break and they will uh, skin your nose. I rode for horse catches for a number of years. It's a little head job. <laughs> Mexican Charles is the one that really started strip roping down in Old Mexico a number of years ago. I believe it was Vincente Orespo that joined the Buffalo Bill Show around the turn of the century and introduced a lot of the strip roping. What he's doing is uh, what we call in Gringo land, the Mexican flat around. And that's punta y talón, heel and toe. Keeping the rope spinning and standing on his heels and toes. Igula, ay que bueno señor. Reverse ocean wave, and then do a reverse flat around. You now see, there's no kinks in between his left and right hand because he spins it one way and then the other. You gotta keep track of that, otherwise you'll have a, it's like a telephone cord between your hand. Now you see a few kinks there, as he goes around two or three times, those kinks will come out. And then loose and grab it, and then into a butterfly, stepped out. A reverse butterfly behind the back. I can't say it as fast as he can do it. Forward ocean wave. Reverse butterfly behind the back. That was it. That was it. In the competition in Mexico, the chariotis, they've got some wild horses that the other charros run around and the charro of Floreo, Floreador, will spin his loop and as he sees the right timing as the horse comes by, he'll throw the loop out and trick called manganas, rope the two front feet only and tip the horse over. And they do that either holding the rope with their hand or they'll tie it around their leg sometimes or the ultimate trick is they'll tie the rope around their neck. And as the horse goes by, they throw the loop, catch the two front feet and then lie down, tip the horse over with the rope around their neck. That's not only hard to do, it's a lot harder to do on the ground. He's so good, I'd like to learn what his last name really is. Gracias, <laughs> Lazo. Conoce usted Ignacio Rodriguez, el doctor? Yeah, yeah. Y Chucho Cisneros? Yes. Paso de muerte, uh, Pepe Lara? Yeah. He knows everybody. <laughs> <laughs> He just missed that to make it look difficult. Had a Charo apply for the job in the show and he went back, he couldn't hire him. He already had everybody booked and the Charo went back to his friends and he said, que pasa? And he said, well, I told that man three times for a job. Every time he asked me no. I'll give you a courtesy laugh for that. Okay, yeah, I'm into my beating material now. I think, you're, I think you're ahead of me a little bit.
But anyway, folks, all I know really is what I read in the papers. I don't make up my little jokes, I just tell what happened. And that does it, too. Let's see here. Oh, look, Congress is deadlocked and cannot act. <laughs> folks, I believe there's hope for the country, yeah. Well, uh, that's the greatest blessing that could befall us. <laughs> folks, I am not a member of any organized political party. I'm a Democrat. <laughs> oh, come on, folks. <laughs> that is a joke. Did you see where how many thousands of students across the country just graduated in law? Folks, it's going to take an awful lot of crime to keep that bunch in business. <laughs>
a long time I didn't do this. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's called Skip It. <laughs> I hadn't done it. Yeah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> the big fake Newton. <laughs> Been the same for me. Thank you, Jimmy. small loop contest. We had four contestants and I think uh, basically they were all one. They were all different sizes so it wouldn't be fair to give one to more than the other. So we'll give one to all four of them. Uh, that's only fair. You know. And um, who the, the two little girls were in that. I don't have their names here. I don't have all the paperwork. Are they still here? They here? Yeah. What do you mean? Routine, too, too small rope routine, and of course Bill Smith was the only one that entered, so who was the winner? <laughs> Is Bill here? Bill? Come on, Bill. <laughs> and of course Bill uh, paid off everybody else not to enter, so. Exactly. <laughs> Running Texas Skip Contest, and the junior division was, uh, I think, John Giannotti Jr., right? You're doing okay today. And the senior was uh, Jim Townsley. Is he here? Where is he? Is Jim out here? Yeah, he's He did it very smoothly, too. There he is. Uh oh, we had the biggest loop contest. And uh, the junior division was 60 feet Jamie Grime. division was Vince Bruce, 75 feet. Vince is around someplace. Here he is. Hey, 
you go, Vince. Thanks, Thanks a lot. You did a good job. And I'd like to ask uh, Will Rogers Jr. and Jim Rogers to come up and uh, present these two awards to uh, the recipient. Have the, uh, oh, yeah, do the junior award. Okay. <laughs> well, I thought I got to be uh, the young one. Well, you can switch on. No, no. I'm the young one, really. <laughs> now, uh, in, in the this is, um, says the Will Rogers Award for Rookie Trick Roper of the uh, Junior Division and Senior Division. Awarded to, and we'll have your name put in there. 1990 Trick Ropers Convention, Will Rogers Ranch, March 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, 1990. And, um, all right, who gets it? Okay, on the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, let me read my own handwriting here, wait a minute. We decided to give the, um, Will Rogers Trick Rope Rookie Year of the Year Award, uh, in the Junior Division to the California Cowgirls. Decision to make because on the senior division, um, we took a look around and the fellow we decided to give it to is not really um, a beginner, but we noticed in the past two or three years that um, he's put a lot of effort, a lot of um, great deal of improvement. And it was kind of like all of us had known this fellow for a while, and we really noticed that he's really, really into trick roping and, and uh, really put a lot of effort in, and his trick roping is kind of like. From what we saw two years ago, uh, greatly improved, and it must have been a lot of practice on his part. And we decided to give this award to Bill Smith. The Monty Montana Award for Showmanship. Who that? Who's that? Who that? <laughs> You've all seen Monty on television and movies over the past, like, I don't know how many years, and 56 years in the Rose Bowl Parade. Right. 56. I asked Monty last year, I said, how come they don't make a Grand Marshal of the Rose Bowl Parade? And his answer to me was, I'm not old enough yet. <laughs> <laughs> Monty Montana is in the Will Rogers story. He did all of the uh, horse roping in the, in the story. I did the other roping, though, but he did all the horse roping. <laughs> <laughs> he gave the job. student and I got paid the most for it. <laughs> well, we decided that um, it was not just trick roping skill was involved but also a great deal of showmanship in a, in a lifetime career and uh, we only thought it was um, um, appropriate to um, name an award such as this after Monty because of the fact that uh, he's as far as showmanship goes um, what else can I say? <laughs> <laughs> People ask me what is my hardest trick. Well, the hardest trick is finding a place to do it to get paid for. It. <laughs> That's been my hardest. Trick. Well, we have two of these awards again: one for junior division, one for senior division. And I'd like the, the, the winners will come up and we'll announce them, and you can present them to them. Okay. And um, the uh, the juniorship division uh, was unanimous with the judges that we give this one to the uh, California Cowboys. Yeah! Thank you. 
Credits due not just to these young people here, but also to their parents for having the insight to keep these kids busy after school and on weekends and to give them something to look forward to in their future. And I think their parents deserve a big round of applause as well. And the uh, senior division uh, was kind of unanimous after watching everybody's performances out there uh, in the past couple of days that the uh, senior um, uh, showmanship award goes to Angelo Ayer. Yeah. started in the show business, the fellow told me, if you don't have talent, wear a loud shirt and ride a fast horse. So that's what I started in, and Angelo, you did some good roping today, and you got a lot of pizzazz, so just keep at it. Okay. I'd like to say that um, everybody in this room made this award possible for me. I don't know, you, you can't realize, I have a scrapbook at home, and I've been, for the past seven years, cutting out pictures of all you performers putting in this scrapbook, and I mean, you don't know how many hours of enjoyment is provided for me, and, and the, I mean, the covers are all worn out, and I thank you. Okay. So anyway, um, in putting together all these awards and everything, I got a phone call one day uh, from a gentleman who couldn't be here tonight. Uh, by the name of uh, Tom Meyer, I think most of you know him, um, up in uh, Northern California. And um, he thought it would be a very interesting idea to um, have a, another kind of an award, for a lifetime achievement type <laughs> award for trick ropers who contribute a great deal to um, uh, the industry. And um, at this time we'd like to make a presentation, a special presentation, uh, to someone, and we'd like to have it presented by Monty Montana. Could you come back up here for a Again? second? <laughs> Again. <laughs> and um, this is an award for lifetime of uh, represent, representing the art of trick and fancy roping. And this award is meant to recognize not only the art of trick and fancy roping, but the influence that the individual has made to the general public uh, with the rope. And he has become a legend in demonstrating goodwill, character, and the image of all, the, all of America. Uh, to present the Lifetime Achievement Award, uh, we'd like to call up two members of the Rialto Ranch Cowgirls, Jennifer Welch and Lori Alba, uh, assisting in the presentation uh, uh, with Monty pre presenting this. And I'll let them take over from here. So I had a hard time just reading that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, all right. Tell them, First of all, I'd like to uh, thank every one of you. It's, uh, this is a great thing that we're doing. And uh, before we read the winner, of course, we're going to have Monty Montana read the winner of this award, but I'll read to you what this award says. The inscription is the Riata Ranch International Lifetime Achievement Award 1990, International Trick and Fancy Ropers Association, Will Rogers Park. And this is it. So right now, Mr. Montana, would you please do the honors of reading who the winner is? Can I get my lookers on? Yes. Huh? You no, certainly can. We'll allow you to do that. <laughs> I only wear these to look through. <laughs> <laughs> Rieta Ranch International presents. Hey, that's pretty. The winner is Monty Montana. <laughs> Marilyn Montana for making this possible. We 
and make numerous phone calls while Monty was in the room. We were putting this all together, so thank you. Unfortunately, Tom could not be here this evening, but Mr. Montana, I do have something that Tom would like for me to read to you. It's a personal letter. It is. And I'm going to go ahead and read it to you because Tom has known you since he was 14 years old. Yeah, I didn't know. I and I've known you since I was... 12. <laughs> and the letter is... Dear Monty, sorry that I could not be there personally to present this award because I feel that this type of recognition is long overdue. With a rope, who else living today has made such an impression on the American public? Examples such as roping one of our American presidents in the inaugural parade, riding in the Rose Bowl parade for 56 consecutive years in front of millions of people, and has performed at every major location on the North American continent, and also, as we learned tonight, being in the Will Rogers film, roping, doing all the horse catches. Uh, but that's all. But that's all. That's right. <laughs> but we got that part. That was all that you did. Okay. <laughs> Besides, uh, performed at every major location on the North American continent. Besides, just recently being inducted into the Cowboy Hall of Fame. For me personally, you are responsible for planting a seed that has sprouted and grown by having 256 girls coming out of my organization for the last 13 years, and not only becoming trick and fancy ropers, but each one a trick and fancy rider. It all started with you and your help. Your rope and infectious smile is your signature. God bless you, Monty. I am proud to have known you. Respectfully yours, Tommy Meyer. and I'm happy to say that I knew Will Sr. And uh, I was up here at the ranch in about 1932 and I used to know him. And one time, I don't know where Will knows this or not, but I was at the Rose Bowl and they had a benefit show. And your dad was playing polo there. And I had did, uh, done a big loop and the spun a rope around my horse working in the show. So your dad come over and he said, Monty, could I use your rope and your horse? I said, sure. So I give him my big loop and he felt of it and the hondo wasn't quite heavy enough so he tied another knot in it to make it a little heavier and he took my rope and spun the rope around my old horse going around the track at the, at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena and I still have the rope and I never untied the knot. <laughs> this is a really uh, memorable occasion because these two fellers are uh, are uh, really a credit to their dad and the family, and they've been a wonderful inspiration and longtime friends, and I'm happy to know you. Thank you very much. That was nice. We have a new. Okay, can't just. <laughs> we have another award we'd like to give out. Monty, we decided to give an award called the Buffalo Bill Award for the oldest trick roper. And we have a very nice buckle and a trophy. Got a trophy? Here we go. And obviously, this award goes to Claire Johnson.
got me beat three years. <laughs> so right now, let me bring on Sylvester Bruin and Andy Ann, backed up by Andy Anderson.
travels all over the country uh, to high schools trying to keep kids in that, the Just Say No program. Uh, does a lot of work for the American Heart Association to get people to exercise. He's an actor and um, he's a jump rope champion. And he's going to come out in a second and uh, show you a little bit of something what you can do with ropes other than jumping. So he, he was nice enough to come and join us this week and learn some jump rope, uh, doing how to do some trick roping. And he'd like to show us what he does with a rope. I'd like to bring him out now and his name is James Thompson. jump rope to stay in shape for a lot of sports when I was coming up in high school, basketball, football, decathlon, pentathlon, and this kept me in good shape. And uh, in college, I was uh, alternate for the Olympic team in 1984 for judo. I'm a third degree black belt out of San Jose State, and I was in the top five in Greco-Roman wrestling in their Olympic trials in 1984, so the jump rope kept me in real good shape. But after watching some of you with the rope spinning, maybe I should do that to stay in shape. I was real tired. Well, we want you on our stuff. <laughs> this is something I call the heel of the toe. The boxers do it all the time. Then you got jumping jacks with a crisscross. Then you got a little fancy footwork in the back. And this is aerobics for those who lack like aerobics. <laughs> and then I do something called a Sugar Ray Lemon.
Everybody with your arms, you stand right here in the spot. Stand right here in the spot. Watch out for the rope. say thanks for these last two days because I've been inspired and when I get back to San Jose I have a few ideas that I might be able to put into the jump rope as a result of watching some of the tricks I've seen in the last couple of days and even before Dave started teaching me the basics to a couple of his tricks with rope spinning I saw a man and his wife do it on a cruise ship about a year ago and I knew then that I wanted some of that action so I'd like to thank you all for the education, the fun, and main, mainly the inspiration. <laughs> I was more impressed with the people than I were the jumping. The jumping was fantastic, great, but the people were greater in the last couple of days. So that impressed me the most. I watched Vince give so much of himself in the last couple of days, sharing and caring, and that's the way it should be, with people giving and receiving equally. So thanks to all of you guys. See in Claire's eyes there, he wants to try and do this stuff. <laughs> Monty Montana Jr. would like to say something. Don't go too far away, Mark. I know there's a lot of folks here have been to a number of these. I've been to two or three of them. And uh, we've all enjoyed, uh, I mean, really the organization and all of the different things we get to do, and it's all run smoothly. And a lot of times the fellas that do that don't get uh, the appreciation, but I think uh, I'll take it upon myself to... Uh, say this, and I think you'll all agree that uh, I think we owe a big round of applause to Mark Allen for yeah. putting this all together. It was a lot of a lot of input from a lot of different people to get this thing going, and I uh, hope maybe some of you will also like to get involved and we'll do this again next year. What do you think? Yeah. We have a gentleman here tonight. Uh, this is John Giannotti from Long Island. You see his son here, Junior, over here jumping around all day and doing a heck of a nice job. And um, John wrote a song uh, about trick ropers, and he'd like to do it for us. And uh, I heard it, and it was very nice. And uh, it's all about trick roping, and I'd like to let him do it.
the impossible to the past. Ain't it great? Ain't it grand? Spinning robes takes us back where it began. This one I wrote for my son, John G. <laughs> John G. 16 and on the run. It's stunts are great and lots of fun. Ain't it great? My name's uh, Vincent Bruce, and uh, I'm having a good time here at the Will Rogers Ranch. I'd just like to say that <laughs> some of the things that you get here kind of rub off on you. <laughs> um, it's nice to have a convention uh, after so much time without a, uh, a good get-together of trick ropers, and this is probably one of the best we've had. Uh, the last one that I remember that uh, had this sort of magnitude was in 1983, I think, uh, here in California. And uh, I think it's great that we're having it here at the home of uh, one of the man who made roping famous to the world. You know, whenever you spin a rope, uh, everyone says, have you ever heard of that guy, Roy Rogers? No, no, you mean Will Rogers. That's the guy, Will Rogers, you know? And uh, but anyway, and uh, it's, it's good that uh, we're here at his home. I've learned a lot from uh, a Mexican that was here, Thomas Garcia Lasso, who's one of the best uh, maguey ropers in the world. And, uh, you know, we've got a lot of uh, team, rope, uh, team trick ropers, and uh, it's great. Okay, thank right you. Here. Do you want to... Hello, I'm Jim Slate from England. Uh, this is my third convention, and uh, I'm just crazy on Western people and Western things. That's one of the reasons I travel so far. Uh, I think what I get out of this most of all is the friendship and the fun I have with the people who belong to this association. Although I'm just a crazy amateur, I feel that they give as much time to me as they give to their professional people, and uh, I hope I'll continue to come here for a long, long time. Thank you. Howdy. My name is Rex Roper. I was born in Bristol, England, but I was brought up in Calgary, Canada. I've been roping now since I was nine years old. I traveled with my father's Wild West show and everything else. It's my first convention here, and it was wonderful to see some of my old friends, like uh, Monty Montana, Monty Montana Jr., and I really got a big kick out of the people, I'm, and I've met a lot of friends since I've been here. And that's a wonderful thing, to have a lot of good friends, especially as ropers, because roping will never die. God bless you all. Uh, yeah, I was just working on the uh, Texas skip and hit my uh, nose and my head several times. But I had a great time, and I learned something. I think we all did. It was great to get together. I mean, this is so important to be together and meet once a year and, and learn from each other and, and just meet good friends like Karen. <laughs> Hey, I've had fun this whole last three days. Met a lot of good people, a lot of caring, a lot of sharing. It's been fun. Hey, can Michael Jordan do this? Bo doesn't know roping, I know. Have a good one. I'm going to be back next year. So enjoy yourself, and I hope we make more friends next year than we made this year. We made a lot this year. <laughs> Yeah, this has been a great convention. It's been nice to come where everyone else is spinning ropes and meet everybody. And I've really enjoyed it. Looking forward to it next year again, too. It's been a great three days. You know, this is my uh, first year here at the convention, and it was just a, just a joy. Uh, seeing everybody and all the learning and sharing that went on here. And, of course, my son is doing some trick roping and doing a lot of learning. And I think he's really, uh, really benefited a whole lot. I really enjoy it. Thank you. I'm Alex Green from Vancouver, Canada. And this is the best weekend I've ever had doing this ever. It's just been wonderful. I've met fantastic friends here. And I'll be back. And that's it. See ya. <laughs> oh, boy, what an actor. Oh, my name's nice. Joyce Rice. I live here in Valley Area, North Hollywood. I'm an entertainer, and I have a lot of friends that are ropers, and I saw a lot of them this weekend and met a lot of new people. It's been great. And the thing that I have found, not only do you learn things, such nice people, they have been great. It was wonderful, you know. There's nothing like it. 
I mean, uh, you could wear the oddest clothes you could possibly think of and you wouldn't be out of place in this crowd of folks. You know, it's, it's as good as folks get. Sure, is having a good time. I know we did. We had a great time the last couple of days. You know? The thing that impressed, that impressed me most about the weekend are the people that are here. They're all very friendly, outgoing, and willing to help anyone. If anyone has the opportunity, they should try to meet particular persons, associate with them. They're good influence. Really, really enjoyed the weekend. One of the best I had in a lifetime. Hope to come back again, learn a lot of new things. It was well worth it. Thank you. Really having a good time here at the uh, Will Rogers Ranch. Mark Allen has put together a great convention, and uh, he's to be con con congratulated. And I'm looking forward to next year's 1991 when we'll get it bigger and better. And I'd like to thank Mark again. See you there at the next one. We have really enjoyed ourselves meeting ropers from all over the world, you might say, and it's been a real enjoyable weekend. And, uh, I really enjoyed myself too, very much. Real fun. <laughs> Had a real fun day. Yeah, it was a fun get together. And, and uh, we should have more of these, hopefully. <laughs> looking forward to the next one. I'm, uh, all the way from Puerto Rico, I was on a plane nine hours, so that gives you an idea of how anxious I was to come here. And this is the first time I've had any real contact with trick and fancy ropers in my entire life. And I think that this convention was really an excellent idea, and uh, I've enjoyed it enormously. I picked up uh, invaluable pointers, and I just hope that it's done every year because it's really a fantastic thing. Well, I thought it was a great weekend. I'm going to have a really hard time going home. And uh, I met some of the nicest, warmest, sincere people I've ever met at any gathering I've ever photographed. The toughest thing was deciding when to photograph and when to rope. And uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to practice really hard. It's in your hand. You got the card. You always want to bring it off. Stay with me all weekend. You always want to keep the rope moving. That the spoke from falling on itself. Yeah, because a lot of times I would hit myself in the shoulder. Well, what you do is step away from it. Duh, okay. <laughs> oh, get out of the way of the road. But right, ideally, stick your arm out here. Okay. Now leave it up here. As you lift it off, stick it out over here. Let it go. Okay. You see, it's hitting you. If, if you're going in a sweeping motion, it'll come around. Uh, and not doing it like this. You're getting it only wait a little longer. Wait, wait for it to let it go off your arm. And as it falls over, there you go. Then you can save it. Just turn completely around. It's still spinning in front of you. When you just turn the around, it's, it's a different looking track. Whatever you want to do with it. Yeah, it's going around.
And kick it off a little further. A little ball. Put your arm out. There's your fall. Should know I did it. It's 1814. I knew there was two numbers there like that. Yeah, right, Mark Allen. <laughs> Same difference. Give me something to work with. Miles 1841 now. So do we still argue about the new world record? You did it now. Oh. 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 1851. Oh. Oh. So you know, the only thing I didn't do again. in training, and that was keep my mouth shut. Right. Here, I keep my mouth open, and I lose it. Okay. Yeah, in training, you see, I don't talk. Thanks, Cactus Jack. Great job. Thanks. Great. Thanks, man. Put something on, buddy. Yeah, I gotta go. Yes. Yeah. Let me, uh, excuse me while I get into something more simple in it. <laughs> oh, we had a good time. We enjoyed it. It was a well-attended uh, convention. I enjoyed seeing the... Uh, was out of Mexico, the different ones were all over. That was well put together. Dennis, we just saw an athletic feat that the whole world ought to see when Vince Bruce did 1,851 Texas skips, which is an act that no other man on the face of the earth has done so far. We've sure had a good time here. It's been good fellowship, a lot of good people, a lot of rope spinning, a lot of laughs, and a lot of fun, and a lot of good entertainment. It's just always great to be here. Will Rogers State Park, beautiful place. And this is a good place to come out and raise a little hell and have a little fun. <laughs> Well, I just have one message for all of you from Bill and I, and both of us were saying the same thing. The only thing wrong with what went on here is that the old man wasn't here to see it. He would have loved it. Just as much, in fact, more than we did. Because, boy, he'd have eaten this up. And I'm glad you're all here, and it has been a real pleasure to see you and bring back a lot of memories of trick roping, which I haven't seen around here for a long time. But it's been great. Yeah.